what's going on everybody, it's Kidzy Max. I already played this game, but for some reason NBA 2K completely glitched out and it's making me play it again. So let's get it open. Alright, so Kidzy Max here with the first gameplay. Um, here I am, we're playing against the New Orleans Pelicans and we already played them, but 2K glitched up and I go around and I spin it around and I flip it up and I fill the basket up with the basketball. With a crazy scoop shot right there. That is crazy. Getting the free throw to fall here with the excellent release. Um, so I'm going to tell you guys right now, before I get into this commentary. This was the game that, it like, it let me know I need to leave Milwaukee in free agency. Like, I was contemplating staying with Milwaukee. Now, no. And it was actually a close game. And uh, we might win, we might lose. I don't even know. I mean, I do know, but um, all I know is that my teammates just kept missing shots, and, uh, and we were doing terrible on defense. I need to up my athleticism because on defense, I feel like I'm in quicksand, but still, uh, teammates just weren't making shots or anything. Um, but anyway, right here, I'm coming out with four assists. Chris Middleton misses that. If you guys, I want to give you guys a little update on the Bucks real quick. Chris Middleton... He likes to shoot, but he's not in that much, so it doesn't matter. Nate Walters, he's not in that much. He he also likes to shoot a lot. OJ Mayo, he will always shoot at the wrong time. And then a lot of times when he's open, he'll be passive and he won't shoot. But right there, the shot clock violation. That's the way to move the ball. So here we are, coming back in the game. All right, here we are, getting around him and getting around Jimmer for dead and with getting the acrobatic left-handed layup to go. Let's go. Trying to, trying to just will my team right here. But now we're up 36 to 29 and as I make a jump shot, just trying to will my team. And, uh, yeah, just trying to carry my team on my shoulders like I've been doing. I make the layup there as he stupidly tries to do the charge cheese, and I pass to OJ Mayo, and he gets a foot on the line, but it doesn't matter because he still makes the shot. Hey, guys, some keys to talk about from what I've seen so far. This is a tight ball game, but remember, this is our house. Well, we've established that three step. dominance on the interior at the offensive end, and until they prove they can stop our inside game, we have to continue to pound it into the post. Ball security was probably our high point. Let's continue to keep a tight handle on the ball and not try to thread too many needles with our passes. And I want us pounding the offensive glass in this half. If that means sacrificing a fast break or two, so be it. It'll be worth it. We expected this to be a battle, and it has been. From here on out, it's a battle we're going to win. Get ahead in, fellas. Huh. All right, so this is the third quarter. It's tied 57 to 57. So we have to do something to break this lead apart. And I wasn't even trying. I wasn't even trying to do that move there or cross him up or even get in the paint, but I did. And I get the two free throws to fall right there. So here I am getting the ball, pump faking twice, backing up, hitting the three, and this, oh, I miss it. In this third quarter, at the beginning of the third quarter, I had a lot of trouble making shots. I actually usually do that in the third quarter. And uh, I struggle, struggle a lot. It might be because of stamina. But I get in here. I pass it to Larry Sanders. I know struggling to make shots right now. I have to do the opposite of what Kyrie Irving was doing last night in that jazz game where he had zero assists. And I have to pass the ball. Right now, I think I have five assists as I get in the paint and I draw the foul. And I make both of the free throws. So I'm going to get here and I accidentally get my foot on the line. But I still get the lucky shooter's roll right there. Shooter's bounce, whatever you want to call it. And I cross him up right here. Jimmer for debt, where are you going? And I get the I get the jump shot right here. So let's see what I can do right here. I get the perfect release with that Irish spring green, as Case Bay would call it. So when you know I... Um, when it's green like that, I could just run back. And Jabari Parker had a great game as I passed it up to Jabari Parker. Here I am crossing up. Let's see. Oh, and look at that cheese right there. That soft pass. That's soft, slow pass cheese. He would have had a wide open let, wide open three pointer if that didn't happen. But I passed it up to Ursa on the way it's over. He gets it to go. I draw the foul. We're definitely turning up right now, but I missed that free throw right there, surprisingly. But I go behind the back, and I get in the paint, and I get another pass to Chris Middleton, Chris Middleton, who misses another layup. I get the rebound. I try to put it in, but I miss it too. 
I shoot the three in the face. Automatic. Man, I forgot all about those automatics, man. It's been a long time, guys. It's been a long time. It has really been a long time. But, Coach, what's he going to say? Too many turnovers. I'm legally blind. Barely. I'm a female. No, I'm kidding. So I get the three to go. Automatic. Man, ever ever since I switched to that Kyrie Irving release three, I have not been able to miss threes. I'll show you later. Before, like, the, I was at a 75 three-pointer, um, like I am right now. I think I was actually at a 73 at the time. And as soon as I switched that Kyrie Irving three, I was just making threes. But I pass it out to Jabari Parker. He makes the two-point shot. Ursan Ilyasova makes the layup. We're down by five. We have a shot at this game. I pass it. I'm getting my passing on. I have 13 assists. We're down by three. As they just will not go away. It's 108 to 99. Game is looking like it's over. There's only two minutes left. It was 108 to 101. I pass it up to Jabari Parker. Jabari Parker. 110 to 105. OJ Mayo misses that layup, but Jabari Parker is right under the basket. Beasting, getting his own layup in the and one, making it 110 to 108. Eric Gordon misses the shot. So we just went on a crazy 9-0 run. But we're going to need at least an 11 0 run. And they um, to cap off this run and to send it to overtime. So let's see what we can do. Between the legs, hesitation, spin, getting in the paint with the left hand to Leia. The Pelicans have to call a timeout. Monty Williams drawing up a play. We are all just. Oh. The Bucks crowd is so happy. Everyone's just stunned. And then, wow. I'm leaving Milwaukee, guys. Can you believe that? One, how does he make that? How's he swish it like that? It makes me like believe this game was scripted or something. Two, get in his face. Like, if there's 1.3 seconds left, I don't care if he's at wow. all the way at the other t at the other basket. You gotta get up in his face. I think we're about to meet Coach right here, the our old Coach. Oh, Coach. High school coaching legend. No, not as good as a coach since I lost you a few years back. It's funny how coaches get better when they actually have good players on their team. Man, forget that noise. You taught me everything I know. You were doing like a sponge. It's, it's paid off for you. I am so happy for you. Thanks, coach. I hit the showers. I can smell you from here. All right, now I gotta get fresh. <laughs> All right, sounds good. All right, this is Kizzy Max signing out. Thank you guys for watching. See you later. Peace.